Doug. This is Rattlesnake Mountain Brewing Company inside of Chemo Sports Bar. Uh, we've been here uh, for about 14 years. Uh, original owners were Steve and Renee Metzger. Uh, Steve was the original brewmaster. I started in here as a uh, server when they first opened up. And a few months later, he brought me in as his assistant, and I eventually took over. For my, uh, for my birthday, about my 22nd birthday, my brother got me a, a homebrew kit. Lived up in Seattle. And I brewed on the stovetop on my second floor apartment for about seven years uh, with no ventilation, no, you know. Had to, had to carry the mash down, you know, to throw it out. Had to carry it down to the, to the dumpster out in the parking lot, which was a lot of fun. But uh, did that for about seven years. And then uh, when I was getting ready to move back into town, this is my hometown. This is where all my family is. So uh, when I was moving back into town, I came in just to look for a job. And this place had an ad in the paper. And so it was like, all right, a brewery, great. So, you know, I, I applied for a server job because that's what they were hiring for. Eventually worked my way up here. Well, usually the brewing day will start in here. This is the mash tun. It's just got a big false bottom screen. It's about a 10 barrel system. And uh, on a brew day morning, I'll line up four, you know, uh, 45 gallon garbage cans right up in front here. Take f a few five gallon uh, buckets, just put them on the stairs and I'll scoop the grain up, put it up there, and then run up the stairs, dump it in as the hot water is coming down into the bottom. And I just kind of keep doing that until I get all of it in there, usually between 500 to 700 pounds, depending on the batch. And uh, yeah, adding hot water at the time, so you get a nice grain bed mixture in here. And uh, then we, you let that set till it converts. And then there's the grant over there, if you can see it. And that we hook up to the bottom of this tank, and uh, once it's done converting, you, you uh, uh, drain it off into the grant and pump it back over the top of the grain bed, and that acts as a filter to filter out a lot of the, the flour and things like that. So we do that for about uh, 20 minutes or so, and then we start pumping it over into the kettle. And in there, the runoff takes about an hour and a half or so. Just drain it off real slow add hot water in over the top to rinse off the excess sugars and uh, things like that. And uh, then once we get it all in here, that's when we boil it. And uh, we boil for usually uh, about an hour and a half, sometimes two hours, depending on the batch. And uh, that's, this is where we'll add the hops and, and, uh, and uh, well, basic brewing stuff. And after that's done, You drain it off the bottom, and you just drain it right off the bottom, pump it into the side, and you set up a whirlpool. And once it gets going, the whirlpool gets going, you let it, uh, you stop it, and you let it settle clear for about 15 minutes. And then a lot of the solids at that point form a cone down at the bottom, and you can uh, pump off the side and uh, avoid getting all of those. And then, once that's done, you pump it through the heat exchanger here, uh, check the temperature, pitch the yeast and then travel on to the fermenter, which today was this one. We put a Saison over here, and you just do it over here, and uh, uh, you oxygenate it just before it gets into the tank. And then once you uh, get it in here, you set the temperature and uh, cap it off. And then uh, that's about, that's the real short version of a brewing day. And then of course over here, this is where we get all the hot water from. That's just a big hot water tank, about 600, it's about 600 gallons worth, and uh, everything's heated by the nice big boiler we got there, the big piece of equipment by the fireplace. And uh, yeah, these are the five fermenters, 10 barrels each, uh, about 300 gallons. And besides that, we have one storage tank right here behind, and three out in the hall that serve directly to the taps. Yeah, we're outside in what used to be a hallway before the remodel. Uh, these three tanks serve straight to the bar. And as you can see down at uh, uh, below them, you see a beer line that kind of forms a trunk down the, below all three tanks, climbs up the wall, goes into the T-bar ceiling, goes down the corner of that thick pipe there, underground, and up into the cooler to the taps.